Hello, what's up, YouTube? Bronix with it another tutorial, and in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to dodge and burn in Photoshop. So basically, we have two types of dodging and burning. The first kind of dodging and burning is uh, the macro or micro dodge and burn, whereby you are bright in specific parts of the image and darken them to balance the overall uh, the way light is falling on a particular object or the image you're trying to do the retouching so, so for micro dodging and burning you have to zoom all the way in and you try to uh, get rid of uh, the shadows or highlights at a micro level so this is not what we're going to be learning about in this tutorial this is going to be the global dodge and burn technique so i'm going to be doing uh, three types of dodging and burning so for this tutorial, let's look at the very first method for dodging and burning. And under this method, you're going to be using the one for, first of all, uh, using the curves and using the, uh, drawing the mask or inverting the mask and painting using the brush tool. Yeah. So we're going to be using curves uh, to dodge and burn in this very method. Actually, all methods are, are for using curves, but this one is for using as uh, a brush to paint the highlights and the shadows. So basically, global dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows to bring back the shape or dimension that may have been lost out during the skin retouching process or when we are retouching the skin in Photoshop. So for this very case, we're just going to come right down here and it's going to be like a series of three methods. So I don't know which method you're going to be loving or using depending on the amount of time you have at disposal so this method is for using curves and the brush to paint over the highlights and the shadows so you're just going to come right down here and you're going to come to curves like that so first of all when dodging and burning we dodge the highlights and we burn the shadows so we enhance the highlights by dodging them and enhance the shadows by burning them so you're just going to make a midpoint and first of all a brighten like that so you don't have to take it all the way up so we're going to close that and make sure this white mask is selected and you're going to hit ctrl or command i to hide that effect remember white reviews and black hides so we have hidden the effect so for remember we just brighten and when you're brightening will be I uh, will be sorry, we'll be dodging, and when you're darkening, we'll be burning. So, we're going to name that layer dodge, and you're going to make another curves adjustment layer like this. And you're going to uh, da make a midpoint and now darken like that. So, you're going to make sure the mask is selected, hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard, and you're going to name that burn like that. So after doing so, we're going to put this in a group by hitting uh, Ctrl and selecting both layers and now hitting Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard, G for girl, and you're going to uh, drop it in this group icon. Yeah. Then after, we're going, we are going to name that uh, Dodge. I'm going to abbreviate that, D and B, then Brush. So we're going to be doing maybe a comparison of the three methods and you're going to be letting me know in the comment section about which method you love to use for the dodging and burning so after doing so I'm just going to hit enter I'm going to open the dodge and burn so for this case I'm going to come and get my brush tool so this is the soft round brush so make, make sure the hardness is at zero and after doing so hit enter and make sure we're going to be using uh, the opacity of around we're going to be using an opacity of around uh, let's use around 9% and the flow 100% smoothing at 0 and we're going to first of all paint over the areas that have uh, the highlights so when you are dodging we dodge the highlights or we brighten the highlights and when you are burning we burn the shadows so you're going to, now i hope you guys are seeing why my cursor is or my brush is looking like a cross it's because 
I turned on my caps lock key when I was renaming this group. So make sure you turn off the caps key. And after doing so, start painting over the areas uh, with highlights like that. So we, we are just going to come and just paint like that. And before you can do that, you can see it is not doing any effect simply because uh, we don't have these colors right here. So that is the very first mistake you have to do when you're trying to do a dodging and burning. So make sure you have white on the foreground like this for it to effect or reveal what we hid uh, under this very mask. So come back and now you can now paint and now you're going to start looking or seeing uh, the effect. So come to this highlight and just paint like that. So let's see the before and after for the dodging. So you have to really take your time while doing this and now enhance those beautiful highlights in the image. So let's just do this a uh, quick. You can come and now enhance these uh, highlights like that and come and enhance this highlight. So we are basically painting over the area. So if at all you would love to increase on the size of your brush, you can simply I use the left and the right brackets to either increase or decrease on the size of your brush. So you can see this is the before and after for our dodging. And you can see we have just added shape or dimension to uh, the face. And for the burning, you have to do the same. And if at all you accidentally uh, dodge an area you don't want to, come and select this black mask. And now you can change the brush to black and have black on the foreground. Yeah. And if at all you don't have this black and white, I forgot to tell you, just click on these two boxes to get black and white right here. And to switch, you can use X on the keyboard. So we have to uh, eliminate the effect on some parts of the skin or reduce and just come and paint over to reduce on the effect like that. So basically that is what we do for the dodging. You can see a before and after for the dodging. You can now come back and switch and get white on top. Uh, come and put this back on and get to your burn. And burning, we basically burn the shadows. So we are just going to enhance or burn the shadows like that. And we can now come to this kind of cheekbone and you can just burn there too, like that. So come and burn this side. So you are basically burning uh, the shadows in the image. So that is the before and after for our burning and if at all you feel it is too much you can come and reduce on the opacity of a particular uh, layer or you can simply reduce on the overall group for the dodging and burning so this is the before and after for the dodging and burning so if at all you feel like you did too much just come and drop down or reduce on the effect of the overall dodge and burn so that is the before and after I hope you can see what I've just done and remember when you're doing this, make sure you don't over zoom in like uh, doing this when you're dodging and burning, unless you're doing the micro dodging and burning. But remember, this is uh, a global dodging and burning. So make sure you dodge and burn the way someone is going to be looking at the image. I hope you can really understand that. So stay tuned for the very second method for dodging and burning. And in that method, we're going to be learning or doing the one for drawing lines to do the dodging and burning. So I'm just going to turn this off and I'll see you in the next episode for dodging, dodging and burning, sorry, uh, by just drawing lines in Photoshop. And after we, we are going to be looking at the third method for dodging and burning.